Hey there, everyone. This is Al Calbling, Rago Gag Mario. Today we're going left to then go right and go back to this house. So, unconscious house, I asked for a nudge. I received several. <laughs> Maybe a bit more than I wanted, but it's okay. So, two important things one needs to realize when exploring Unconscious House. As soon as I get there, which is gonna be pretty soon, yep, yeah, mm hmm there we go, so. Eh, so. Huah! Yeah, so. It was explained to me that these barriers, like, they don't really check if you're trying to walk through. They're just checking what direction you're walking in. Or, no, 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 not even. They're just checking what direction you're facing. So if you can just kind of fake it like that a little bit, everything's gonna be okay. Like, I could, like, oh, well, here would be dangerous. So, we, well, I press... Did I press the one on? Man, I am just, like, not remembering anything. It's pretty good. You know what? Doesn't matter. Alright, so what we're doing... I'm going in blue here. Alright, so I did do that. Where am I doing? I'm... I... I... There. This is exactly what I want. So... The... The important nudge that I got is this. This block isn't here for funsies. So, pressing that there... Apparently... Is indeed... A meaningful action. Um, so, I mean, I feel like, okay, and that, that, I figured that's what that meant. That, um, that's what the blue coins mean. Like, they're a, they're a hint, they're a hint that, hey, something's going to happen here. And I messed up my job on the block. So, okay, I don't have any particular issues with that per se. And I mean, the fact that there is a block here... I guess is a hint when you know about it, but to turn it from terrible to at the very least tolerable, um, like making the block do a sound of some kind to acknowledge that something is happening right now, I think would be good. Like the issue is that you bop your head on it and it's like, well, can you spin jump? Wow, I just am not able to play a video game. Like, just... Like... Any... Clue at all that, you know, that something is happening would be good. Like, it's a fact that it doesn't move in the slightest. Like, even like, you know, blocks in Super Mario World, when you interact with them, like, they, they do a little bounce, you know? Or like, they'll, uh, they'll make a sound. Something anything but you just get nothing here and it's just very like that's just i think that's why people get stuck me included it's because like you don't get any feedback at all the feedback is nothing happened yeah so you gotta do that while in a hurry and um, that's pretty cool anyways hurry hurry ah whatever like, I can just whatever, though. Well, now, I don't have to race. Where am I going with this? Inside the, the blue pipe. That's where there's that switch situation going on. Where I expect some kind of something is gonna some kind of something. I put it, like, right in here. Look at that. A door just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, it's not the end of the level. Oh, that's a special string that doesn't let me eat pasta. All right. Oh, wait, what? Oh, now I wonder. No, wait, it did the ding. It did a ding like a coin. It just didn't register because I was speaking out loud and making- talking about pasta. Because I was too busy being silly, I didn't realize the trap that was laid out to me. And I feel bad. What's going on with me? Ah, <sighs> in acquiring knowledge about a nudge, there's a secret exit in this house. Joy and thunder. I mean, like, I combed over this silly level all the way over, so... I'm going to go ahead and make the assumption that the secret exit has to do with the P-switch. 
instead of like dumping down in that screen, um, dump down in like in another pipe. That's basically what it's going to mount to, I'm pretty sure. Dang it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I could try pressing it here. I think that's too obvious, though. I think the most butt move is to go one way further and go into this pipe. This leads us here. There could be a door here. There isn't. No! Well, there's a door there. <laughs> Dang, I forgot about that eerie. I guess another clue is if you bop that block, at some point you'll hear the dri dri dri. Yeah, I guess that never happened to me. Because you would, because normally you just kind of hurry into one of the pipes or something. You just don't wait. Yeah, I think this is the first level that in this game that I would unfortunately consider not very good. <laughs> like, uh, the puzzle basically relies on a yeah, I see it does the ding like a coin. That's funny to me. And well, hopefully this is technically a different place because it sure looks the same. Because yeah, like the main puzzle just kind of relies on a weird obs ob obfuscation. And then the gameplay, it's going through a spiky tunnel a few times and it's like not great. Oh, that is okay. You don't go that little aisle. You go in the woods. It's a, it's a shortcut to world three possibly, do you think? I don't know.